I've got a big old box of drugstore makeup with me right now that I honestly think is better than high-end. Yep, I said it. I do not always believe that high-end makeup is worth the price tag and this video is just gonna prove it to you guys. This makeup is some of the best that you can get from the drugstore and today I'm gonna be doing a full face. I'm gonna be doing a blue look, which I have not done in a very, very long time. I miss doing my blue eyeshadow. Blue is my happy color and so today I'm going to embrace my happy colour and I'm going to be doing a blue cut crease. But just before we do jump into the video, if you have not already, definitely like and subscribe because I upload every single day here on my YouTube channel. It is actually getting close to 365 days of straight uploads. I have not missed one and I'm trying to hit 5,000 subscribers by the end of the year, which I really think that we can do. We have just hit 4,950 what is going on? Oh my gosh, so close yet so far. So join our little family. I love bright, fun, colorful makeup, project panning, all that kind of stuff. But I will stop plugging and I will jump into the video. So as always, I will clip my hair back. I feel like my standards for high-end makeup has got a lot higher over the past few months because drugstore is just so good nowadays that why would I pay so much money for a product that works the same? So I'm going to be happy this video. <laughs> so I think I'm going to have to start with the eyes just because I do have a loose pigment, which I'm like so excited about. I absolutely love, love everything that I'm going to wear today. I'm just so excited. So I'm going to start with my NYX Vintage Jean Baby Eyeshadow Palette. This was a palette that I got for my birthday, not this year, last year, and I have been absolutely obsessed with this. I adore the blue and taupe colour story, and I would wear this every single day without question. It is such good quality. It is so beautiful, and I'm so excited to finally be playing with this again. I did prime my eyes with the Urban Decay primer potion just before I did jump in to the video. I don't have any other primers apart from this, so this isn't drugstore, but everything else is. Everything else is, I promise. So I'm gonna go in with this white shade and I'm gonna just set my lid and even this white is so pigmented. <laughs> like, look at that. That's pigmented for a white, are you kidding me? So I'm gonna be doing a cut crease today. So I think I'm gonna do darkest shade to lighter shade, just because um, if you do lightest to darkest, sometimes it can lose the impact and the depth. So I'm gonna start with this super deep blackened blue. I'm gonna use a little brush and I'm gonna go in. These palettes are so beautiful. They are pretty expensive for the drugstore. NYX has recently been upping their prices. I've clocked you, NYX. I can see you. But honestly, the quality is amazing. I feel like drugstore eyeshadow quality is better than high-end a lot of the time because I feel like high-end eyeshadows are often very like subtle, they're very clean girl, they're very just not high impact on purpose, but you know, I love a high impact obnoxious eyeshadow look. Okay, that is a little bit more than I thought I was gonna do, but you know what, today's Halloween that I'm filming this, so, I'm, I'm just, you know, on theme today. I love how this shade isn't just a boring black. It is like got that rich navy blue in it. Oh, it's so pretty. Okay, next I'm gonna go in with the shade next to it, which definitely has more of a like blue pigment. This is so pretty. Oh, just these shades get me so much. And I'm gonna try and stay quite close to that black e blue kind of shade that I put down just because I can see this going a little bit far out. So <laughs> I gotta be careful now. I actually can't remember the last time I played with blue eyeshadow, which is crazy because I used to wear blue every single day. And it's not because I don't like blue anymore. I love blue. Like I'm going to finish this look and I'm going to love it. I've already planned out the look in my head and I already know I'm going to love this blue look. But I don't know. Maybe I haven't been working on many blues in projects. So maybe that's why. But I've definitely missed it so much. 
Okay, on a bit more of a fluffy brush, I'm gonna go in with this super bright kind of mid-tone blue. I was gonna use this, but I want it to be a bit brighter. So the bright blue it is. And again, I'm just gonna be very, very rough. I'm not putting too much care into it. I'm just whacking it on and blending it out. I feel like high end doesn't do bright colors very much. When I was going through my drawers, I did compare this palette to my Natasha Denona mini trio chrome palette. And we know my thoughts on that. It's not the best. I'm not the biggest fan of that palette, but that's okay because drugstore does color better. Honestly, I think I will die on that hill. Drugstore does colorful eyeshadows so well. And I will always, always, always think that. I'm not even gonna lie. I think it's just so good. And you can see, like I've not even been blending that long. It just looks so good. Okay, and now I'm gonna go in with this final shade, which is the lightest blue, just on the same fluffy brush, just to really blend that and smoke it out even more. So, so, oh, I've missed blue so much. Okay, so I'm just gonna run off camera. I'm gonna cut my crease with my concealer that we'll talk about a little bit later on in the video, but a nice cut crease. I'm really excited. And then we're gonna play with some sparkles and shimmers and oh my goodness, I'm just so excited. So stay tuned. Okay, they're not exactly even, but that's absolutely fine. You get the vibe. You get, you get what I'm going for. So I think what I'm gonna do is use a single eyeshadow on the lid because honestly, like I'm just obsessed with these. This is the Pastel Roses Seven Wonders eyeshadow and it is in the shade Oasis. And as you can hopefully see, it is a beautiful blue to purple kind of duochrome. And I think it's gonna go with this look so unbelievably well. I am gonna cover it with a loose pigment, like I said before, but as a base, this is gonna be amazing. So I am gonna use this. It is so soft and beautiful. Beautiful. People are gonna get annoyed at me for plugging this, but you can get 20% off all the pastel roses with code Caitlin20. It is not affiliated. It's just for you to get some money off and I'm gonna pop this all over the lid. Oh yeah. This is just gonna give the most beautiful shimmery base for my glitter that I'm about to put on. Something that I have learned with glitters and pigments is it is very, very important to put on a base before you put your glitter on, um, especially if it's like a translucent-y kind of glitter that I'm gonna wear today, just because you really want that color to come through. So there you go. I'm gonna use a brush to try and get up into that cut crease. That shade is just stunning. I'm really hoping that you're gonna be able to see on camera. I'm gonna zoom in a bit. Can you see that like purple duochrome? I'm really hoping you can because, oh, it's so pretty. <laughs> okay, now we've got that on. I'm gonna use a shade from the palette. I'm gonna use this dark blue. It's got a very similar shift. It's a blue to purple. And I'm just gonna dot that on the outer part of the cut crease just to blend those two shimmers together. And that's just gonna really make that all just blend and look seamless and beautiful. Okay as if it couldn't get any more stunning, I'm about to make it even more stunning. This is my absolute favorite loose pigment in the entire world. This is the Pastel Roses Milky Way. And it is, again, one of those purple to blue iridescent-y kind of shades. It's got like a sheer base, but it just adds so much sparkle and shine. And I'm absolutely obsessed. And I already know it's gonna be a good day because I get to use Milky Way. So a makeup tip that I say quite a lot is use brow glue as glitter glue. It is pretty much the same thing. So I'm just gonna dab that on. And then what I like to do is just dab it out a little bit and dabbing it out just makes it a little bit less gloopy. And then I'm gonna go in. I'm so excited. If you say that that is not the most stunning thing you've ever seen in your life, you're lying. Like, come here, come here. Look at that. Are you kidding me? Oh, 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 oh my God. I could just stare at this all day and I am getting a lot of fallout, which is why I decided to do my eyes first today. I just, oh, I love this so much. 
this is literally unmatched in every aspect everything full stop just oh i could look at this all day okay so more drugstore goodies to come let's do foundation now if you have been on my channel for a while you will know i love this foundation and someone recently said this was discontinued and this is the worst Halloween fright of my life. So this is the Revolution Matte Base Foundation and it is so, so good. They did say that it is currently available at the beauty outlet. So everyone run, literally run, do not walk to get this because this is the best thing since sliced bread. I'm only gonna use a little bit because I can't get this for long. Oh no, and we just hit the air bubble. <laughs> Happy Halloween. <laughs> This is like thick, so if you have acne like I do, it is playing up a little bit right now. Not too bad, but if you have acne, this is definitely one for you. I love it. I have very dry skin, so if you have dry skin as well and you're looking for a foundation that works and that is so cheap and amazing and it's going to be even cheaper now it's at the beauty outlet, literally go and run please because it's your last chance it's your last chance to get this <sighs> and i'm so sad but literally look at that cheek can you argue with that no i first saw this foundation and it was on sale for two pound and i was like i've got to buy it because it's obviously so bad it's going to be so bad it's from revolution it's on sale for two pound i have to buy it and laugh at how awful this is going to be but it is my favorite foundation now. I've repurchased this an ungodly amount of times and I wish I could keep doing that, but Revolution decided to do a hate crime against me. I, I feel attacked. I was gonna put on a second layer, but honestly, no. I have to ration this. So the concealer that I'm gonna use is an absolute OG classic concealer. This is the Collection Lasting Perfection and it is what I used to cut my crease as well today. This in the UK is like a rite of passage. Everyone had this concealer as one of their first concealers because it is so cheap and cheerful. However, it is one of the absolute best. And I'm gonna put quite a bit of this on my forehead because I feel like we didn't put much foundation foundation on my forehead it kind of needs a little bit of help. I have repurchased this more times than I can count and this is not being discontinued so I'm happy about that but oh it is so good. I still need to try the hydrating one. I was gonna buy the hydrating one however it said that it was more low coverage and like serum like so I don't know, I got a little bit scared because I do like a full coverage concealer and this is like definitely, it's definitely full coverage. <laughs> this is more of like a drying formula. However, I've said before quite a few times, I do have very, very annoying under eyes. They are quite dry. I mentioned before, my skin is very dry. However, it doesn't really emphasize my issues very much. So even though this does dry down, I don't think it like makes my under eyes look bad. And it also works really, really well for cut creases because of that as well. It's not gonna cake up in your creases. So pretty, so pretty. I feel good, I feel happy, I feel, oh, yeah. Okay, so next we're gonna talk about a powder and this was on a recommendation from Make Me Up Missa. I used to be absolutely obsessed with Make Me Up Missa. She is such, Oh, I love her so much. The parasocial relationship is real. This is the Trigwell Cosmetic Setting Powder and this is really, really inexpensive. You can get it from Beauty Bay and I've really been loving this. I've been on a bit of a kick with my Huda powder recently, but then I was planning this video, I saw this and I was like, I have to. I have to use this today. So I'm gonna use this with a sponge and just tap it on under my eyes. This feels so smooth and I really wanna try it with the Trigwell Puff because it is meant to be used with the Trigwell Puff, but I just haven't got round to buying that yet. If you have it, let me know. Is it worth it? And do you like see a difference? Cause that'd be so interesting. And again, it doesn't make my under eyes look really crepey um, because that is an issue 
that I deal with, with a lot of powders. And I just took a fluffy brush in the cap and I'm just gonna set the rest of my face with that. I really, really love that. My face is set. I only used a tiny amount and I'm loving it. I'm loving it. Okay, so now it's time for cheek products and I'm so excited about these as well. I know I keep saying that, but these products just make me so happy. This is the Mitchell Bronze Pod and mine is in the shade Almond Mom. Now this is a really beautiful formula because it is baked, but it also has that little bit of shimmer in it. And for me, I love that. Again, I have very dry skin. So giving my skin a little bit of a glow through a bronzer is so nice, but it's not too much where it looks like a deep highlight. You can see the usage on this. I'm so excited. This is very pigmented. I did notice that when I was buying shades online, it was quite difficult to find my shade, but Almond Mom is really nice for me. As long as I use a fluffy brush, because it can definitely get a little bit dark for me. And this of course is super inexpensive as well. I have a bit of a love-hate relationship with Mitchell sometimes because his cream and liquid formulas I really don't like, but his powder formulas are stunning. I think it's just because I am more of a powder girl. I'm not a big fan of creams. So of course I'm gonna prefer the powders. Okay, I feel good, I feel confident, and that is obviously what we want. This is so stunning. I'm so excited to move on to the next product because this has been a favorite for such a long time and I've been neglecting it a little bit recently. But this is the Kiko Milano Unexpected Paradise Blush and this is a beautiful like bricky kind of color. I love wearing this with blues. I love wearing this with anything to be honest. It just goes so well with anything because it's a neutral shade but it's still a little bit different. It's not like a peach or like a normal like safe shade it's kind of like a a bit of a brick kind of color it's got a little bit of that orange in it and it is just so pretty with anything but specifically with blues i love it so much and it smells gorgeous it smells like coconut and look, just like this whole experience like kiko is so good with giving you an experience oh yep pretty Look at that. I can't believe I never used to like blush. Like, I think we've all been in that stage where we first started wearing makeup and like no one wore blush. I don't understand how. I think for me, it was like seen as a girly thing. Like I don't wanna be a girly girl and like pink princesses. So I was like, no, I don't want blush because I don't wanna be pink and rosy and all that kind of stuff, but now, I can't live without it. Like, look at that. Like, it does have quite a strong yellow base to it, but it's just so nice. Oh, I love it so much. I love it, love it, love it, love it, love it. And it's just so unique. I don't have anything like this in my collection. And it's just, oh, mwah, I'm obsessed. So let's move on to highlight. I do have a super blinding drugstore highlight. This is the Sleek Solstice Equinox Highlighter. Now I think this is discontinued. However, any Sleek highlights are blinding, are gorgeous, are absolutely beautiful. So I would not worry about that at all. Anything from Sleek, they've got you covered. I only have to use a tiny bit of this and it's gonna make me, oh my God. Oh my God, look at that. Sleek again were like the staple of makeup when I was in college. In college and like high school, Sleek was everywhere. It was Sleek and the collection Lasting Perfection. What a throwback. Everyone was using those products. And I mean, we started good. <laughs> I just love these highlights so much. 2016. I'm still here with you, babe. I still love the blinding highlight. I will always love the blinding highlight. A subtle, like natural highlight. Who is she? We don't know that person. This, yes. So let's start finishing off the eyes. I'm gonna go back in with our little palette and I'm gonna do just the shades that we did in the crease, but on the lower lash line, just to kind of bring everything round again. So I started with that black, blacky blue, and then I'm gonna go in to this more navy blue. And then into 
these lighter blues as well. And I did leave a little bit free here because I do want to go back in with this single eyeshadow that we used and just add a little bit of that on the lower lash line. These definitely go on a lot better with a finger. They are very like mushy and malleable. So it is a little bit difficult to put them on with a brush, but I'm just gonna layer it up and hope for the best. Then I'm gonna go into the palette again. And this shade is so stunning, this inner corner shade. It's white, but it's got like blue reflex in it as well. And this is just gonna be perfect for that inner corner pop. And it is so vibrant too, oh my God. I love oh, this look. Oh, I've missed blue so much. Then my favorite drugstore eyeliner. This is like a staple in my collection. This is the Barry M High Viz eyeliner in the shade Caution. As you can see, it is a super vibrant deep-ish blue and it is nearly done. Like I've used this so much. We're probably like halfway down with this already. And this has never been in a project pan. It is just my natural use. I cannot stop using it. Again, this was a recommendation from Make Me Up Missa and I love her for this. Just look how vibrant that is. And this is drugstore. This is like four pound or something. The prettiest thing ever. I'm gonna do my lashes and my brows off camera. I am gonna use just the MUA Volume Mascara. This is like two pound 50. So I'm sticking with the drugstore theme. And then brows, I'm just gonna use my Pan That Palette. So I'll see you in a sec. Okay, lashes are on. They took me a long time because my false ones that were kind of semi-permanent, they just kept falling off. I think I did it wrong because the seal just didn't work on them. So now I've kind of gone back to these. My lash perm is still causing me issues. So, oh my gosh, but I've done it. They look kind of nice now. What do you think? Just don't even tell me what you think. They're, they're beautiful, they're nice, they're lovely. Everyone agrees. So let's do lips. So I do have, of course, a drugstore lip duo. So this is the NYX Line Loud Lip Pencil in the shade Global Citizen and the Revolution Lipstick in the shade Chauffeur Nude. Now, when I first got this lipstick, I don't know why, but the word chauffeur just was not in my vocabulary. And I don't know what I was calling it, but it definitely wasn't chauffeur. So a lot of you had to correct me in the comments. So thank you very much for that. So this is kind of like a brownie lip combo. And I love doing a brown lip with a blue eye. So this is so nice. This is almost like a mousse kind of texture. It is so comfortable. I love this thing so much. I wanna get all the other colors of this because Mmm, it is so comfortable, but it's also matte. Like, oh, I love, I love this lip combo so much. Oh my God, I love it. So, oh, this is the look. My stomach is rumbling right now. So here we go. This is the final look. What do we think? Drugstore, 100% and so much better than high end. Oh my gosh. Just look at this look. I think it is absolutely gorgeous and stunning and magical. And you cannot tell me that these products are not so good. They are so good. Look at this, look at this, look at this, look at this. Absolutely obsessed. So let me know what is your favorite product from this video. Of course, everything will be linked down below for you guys. So if you wanna shop something, it will all be down there for you. I love this look so much. I'm reunited with blue after way too long and I'm feeling happy. But this is it. This is the end of this video, guys. And it is where I'm gonna love you and leave you today. I hope you had an incredible day and I will see you tomorrow for a brand new video. Bye-bye.